Bruce McCandless II was born on June 8, 1937 in Boston, Massachusetts. Son of Rear Admiral Bruce McCandless and Sue McCandless, he was raised with brother Douglas and sisters Sue and Rosemary. Bruce is part of a long line of Naval Academy alumni and war heroes. His grandfathers, Commodore Byron McCandless and Captain Willis Bradley, are from the class of 1905 and 1907, and his father was a member of the class of 1932. For his heroism in World War II, his father received the Medal of Honor. His grandfather, Captain Bradley, also received the Medal of Honor for actions in World War I. His family's naval tradition was his strongest inspiration for entering the academy, where his list of activities included competitive sailing, intramural pistol, the photography club, and the radio club. The Lucky Bag noted that using a scientific approach in all fields Bruce stood first in the class academically plebe year and has stayed at the top ever since. After graduating in 1958, Bruce received flight training at the Naval Aviation Training Command. As a naval aviator, he was assigned to Fighter Squadron 102, where he saw duty aboard USS Forrestal and USS Enterprise, and flew missions in support reconnaissance flights during the Cuban Missile Crisis. In 1965, under Navy auspices, Bruce received a master's degree in electrical engineering from Stanford University, and later earned a master's degree in business administration from the University of Houston. Bruce was selected by NASA and the Navy as an astronaut in April 1966. He was assigned to ground support for the Apollo 10, 11, and 14 missions, including capsule communicator during the Apollo 11 mission, when Neil Armstrong first set foot on the moon. Bruce collaborated with two other colleagues in the development of an astronaut maneuvering unit called the M509 experiment. After testing inside the Skylab workshop, the manned maneuvering unit, MMU, was designed and developed for flight in connection with space shuttle missions. In February 1984, Bruce made the first untethered solo flight using the very technology he helped to develop. Bruce was also instrumental assuring the Hubble Space Telescope was serviceable on orbit and was part of the crew that first placed it in operation. After retirement from the Navy in 1990, Bruce continued to support repairs and servicing as a consultant to the Space Telescope Science Institute. A veteran of two space flights, McCandless has logged over 312 hours in space, including four hours of untethered solo flight. In addition to a Department of Defense Superior Service Medal and a Legion of Merit, Bruce McCandless has been the recipient of multiple awards for his exceptional service and achievement by NASA, the American Astronautical Society, the National Aeronautic Association, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, and the Smithsonian Institution. In 2005, he was inducted into the NASA Astronaut Hall of Fame. Bruce continues to support the Brigade of Midshipmen through presentations on his historic untethered spaceflight. He also addressed the plebe class in another Link in the Chain program. Bruce and his wife Bernice are lifetime members of the Naval Academy Alumni Association. They have two children and two grandchildren. Apart from his wonderful family, Bruce says his most satisfying accomplishments include his participation in the development of the Manned Maneuvering Unit and successfully completing its first flight, as well as his work on the Hubble Space Telescope. Captain Bruce McCandless II, a daring and innovative pioneer whose accomplishments reflect highly on our nation and the United States Naval Academy.